Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a, um, your April reading. It's uh, titled, What Do They Feel or How Do They Feel Towards You, right? Um, we're going to ask, what, four questions in this reading? Uh, the four questions are, what is your person feeling toward you? How are you feeling towards them? And what's the advice for you uh, in regards to this relationship? What's the potential outcome if you take the advice of the cards? Um, thank you, Cancer, for being here. I hope that everyone is well and is safe. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Okay, so let's jump into it. Um, what are your person's feelings toward you? How do they feel toward you? Okay. Okay, Cancer, so this is how they feel towards you, all right? The Queen of Cups, Justice, and the High Priestess. Okay, so they may have secret feelings for you. Um, they're trying to maintain their emotional stability in regards to how much they like you or they love you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Libra, a Piscean person. There's someone holding back, but they want to come to you and either apologize or tell you how they feel. They, this is a person who wants to do the right thing. Um, this is how they feel towards you. Or they want you to do the right thing. Or they, they're wondering if, wondering if their feelings will manifest into anything serious. Also, this person could be, there is a slight obsession, addiction to you, or addicted to some plan of theirs or some secret feelings being you know coming to manifestation them getting what they want from you um your person could be very intuitive they could be very fair very just they could have libra in their chart um aquarius pisces capricorn cancer um They, they're very much in love with you. But they're trying to maintain some type of balance. Because they may feel as if this their feelings in regards to you are off balance or out of balance. Um, maybe they feel for you more than you feel for them. They feel like you, you hold in how you feel about them. You hold your secret. You, your feelings... Or secret in regards to them. They feel like you know how they feel about you. But you aren't really speaking on it. Okay. So. Let's see. Okay. Cancer. Let's see how you feel about them. How does Cancer feel about this particular. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. The Page of Cups. Okay, so Cancer, you feel like this person could be younger than you. You feel like you think about them a lot. Or, you, or analysis paralysis. You you want something to happen here or to manifest here, but you aren't really taking a lot of action in regards to making it happen. You you feel like you were lucky to meet them. You feel like you're you're very lucky. Um you can be dealing with a fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. What's the other one? Taurus. You feel as if you're not sure how this will manifest, but you're sh you're sure that you were supposed to meet this person. You have um, you are falling in love with them. But they're in love with you and you're falling in love with them. Um, you aren't sure right now if you want to take that, give them everything that you have in regards to your emotions or open up to them completely. 
But then you blindly want to take some leap of faith, go in a new direction with them. It seems as if you might even speak your how you feel about them to them. This could be Aries, Aquarius. Some of this could be same sex. Um, they're in love. You're falling in love with them. You may choose to just change course. You may have been holding back or yeah, holding back because they see you as holding back. Well, their feelings are holding back. I'm sorry. Um, that's how your person feels toward you. They're holding back or they're not trying to let on too much. And how you feel towards them is you want to take that leap of faith, but something's got you stuck. You're stuck in, in your mind and then in the mental capacity of um, taking this leap of faith. But the leap of faith is, is not well thought through. It's a leap. You know, but some of you are stuck in, you know, analysis paralysis, not moving. Um, something's got you paralyzed. Um, the thought of, okay, um, you think about this person a lot, though. You may talk to them a lot. Let's see, Let's see what the advice is for you. What's the advice for you in regards to this person? Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Chariot. Wow. It's, it says expand. Expand on how you're feeling. On what you secretly want to do. Or what you want to do. Um, solidify this relationship. Either by. This can talk about engagement ring. Moving in together. Some grand gesture of exactly how you feel about this person it says do it because the chariot card this is the cancer card it says this is about progression moving a relationship a marriage a business or whatever moving it forward so that you can be victorious because you already have some feelings that you have toward this person um you're keeping it under wraps you feel like you're very lucky to be in love with this person or to be falling in love with this person they feel like they're already in love with you. They know what this relationship means. They have secret knowledge of what's going on here. Maybe you aren't too aware, but they are. It says, um, yeah, engagement. There needs to be a cause for celebration here. You found maybe the one for, for some of you. Um, the queens are the doers of the zodiac. So it says do, act on, take action. In regards to doing something um, monumental in, in terms of sharing a relationship with someone, moving in together, engagement, uh, making a large purchase together, something. It could be even a dog, you know. Um, but it says move this relationship forward. That's the advice for you. Let's see what the potential outcome is if you take the advice of the cards. What is the outcome? For cancer if they take the advice of the cards king of pentacles nice So it, four cards wanted to jump out. It's supposed to be three. Okay. So the outcome of this relationship, if you take the advice of the cards, you guys will be married. King and Queen of Pentacles. A very stable connection. Very grounded. You guys could be older. Um, you know, you're not in your 20s or someone's older, someone's younger. But someone's very grounded. Someone is still working. Could be a working mother. Someone is um, um, very well off. Could be wealthy. 
um but this person doesn't do a lot for their money their money works for them at this point um we have the devil and the moon jeez if you take the advice of the cards it's a lot going on behind the scenes someone will still operate in this relationship with uh, suppressed feelings someone will not completely divulge how they feel about the other someone will always keep the other one in 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 lieu in in limbo um not as if the, the person won't know that they love them but it'll always be an air of mystery um you also have to keep in mind that you guys are very different but you still want the same outcome so going about it you two will go about it differently a different path but keep in mind that you you both want the same thing there's a dog and a fox howling at the moon they both want to howl at the moon but they're both two very different well not that too diff not too much different but they're different species um uh, of, uh, of dom domestic animal right or dog i don't know what but what i'm trying to say is that you guys will um it's gonna be a very strong tie a very strong tie to this person to how you feel to this energy make sure that you're you're not making a choice that's gonna leave you stuck or feeling trapped um especially if you're not expressing everything to this person be very clear in what you want with this person cancer yeah um make sure that this isn't a karmic person that it's not a toxic a toxic tie that it is um this is going to work out well for you make sure it's going to work out well make sure that you aren't going into this relationship this marriage knowing that you're going to participate in infidelity that you have so many secrets and lies going on or make sure that the other person doesn't have that going on with themselves with with them um yeah at the bottom of the deck is the ace of swords you, you you're going to have to talk this through it's going to be this card talks about a challenging new start but a new start and victory all together but it's going to be challenging okay um because you're gonna to have to cut some things out uh you're gonna to to be clear about what you'll accept and what they'll accept um uh, make sure that you're just not going into this relationship for superficial reasons um make sure that you you know everything and vice versa they want to make sure they know everything in regards to what will affect the relationship Let's get the advice for you. What is the advice, the additional advice for cancer? Very good reading. Look for a sign. Not the right time. Ask for help from others. In the near future, we have a yes answer and abundance. Very nice. All right, so here at the channel, we clarify our yes and no answer. Yes and no answer, so let's go ahead and clarify this yes answer. Yes, Ace of Wands. Yes, you'll be prompted into a new direction. It'll be more so you're concerned about your own health, wealth, and happiness in regards to maybe someone else maybe there's a lot of passion between you and this person a lot of sexual um energy and things can be there's a, a this is sexual exploration here too you can um explore with this person um yes the ace of wands it's going to be new a new development here six of cups um you guys may have children together there are talks of children yes um 
this person could be a soulmate very strong soulmate um, this is where you should be wow we've got the if I can get okay we've got the high priestess and the hierophant wow very spiritual union here very nice if this person is not spiritual then they're being awakened to their spirituality because of you or vice versa they have the high priestess on their side so it might be them awakening you to a more esoteric a more um understudy way of thinking about uh, life and psychology and just things of those natures they may be awakening you to that a uh, cancer it looks like a very dynamic relationship you got both the high priestess and the hierophant and you got the queen and king of pentacles so very grounded very spiritual it's it looks like it, this is a yes you know I get the yes answer so it's gonna be very grounded somebody's grounded and they and they worry about earthly tangible things and the other is more concerned with the spiritual and when it comes together you both balance each other out perfectly cancer very good reading if you feel like it resonated with you go over to the website book your own reading there um, if you have a question or two you can always uh, send a text message with your question to the number below you can pay for your question on your mobile device and receive the answer to your question on your mobile device take advantage of it okay um, be safe i'll see you soon well i'll talk to you soon <laughs>